Hey guys, today I want to talk to you guys about some tips and tricks to help you guys stay motivated and stay secure to your exercise routine or program. So these were five major important things that I wanted to point out to you guys that might help you guys stay motivated and stay on track to that program so you guys get long lasting results, okay? So let's go over those five different ones. The first one, do it for yourself, okay? So this is really important. The only person that's going to take themselves to the gym and do the workout is you. There's nobody else that's going to force you to go there and do the reps and put in the work. So ultimately it comes down to your motivation and what you really wanna do. So if you really are motivated and you really wanna get healthier, you wanna lose weight, or you wanna put on lean muscle mass, whatever the goal is, you have to be accountable for yourself. So that is staying motivated and going there and doing the work for yourself, okay? The next one, number two, mix up your workouts. If you're getting bored or you think that you're just going through this boring routine and just going through the motions, mix it up, okay? If you don't know any other exercises, then if you're going to a, you know, a big box gym or whatever it is, why don't you ask one of the people there that work there about another exercise? Maybe a fellow trainer that's there, somebody that you've seen that, that looks like they know what they're doing, and you guys can incorporate maybe some different exercise routines. You know, maybe it's a different form of equipment, a different movement, you know, whether it's a compound movement, all these different things will help you guys get the results and stay motivated at the same time. It's fresh, it's new. You guys can add these up, switch them up, mix them up, and that's important because you guys will never get bored, all right? Number three, bring a friend or have somebody that's there as your partner to keep you accountable and to keep you on track. Make sure it's somebody that's not going to divert your attention or take it away from what you're really supposed to be doing. And that's working out or doing exercise to help you guys get healthier, look better, and feel better. So make sure that that partner or that person you bring is motivated on the same level that you are to get healthy and get right. Okay, it's really important because you don't want to bring somebody there that's going to just divert your attention and you're just not there doing what you're supposed to be doing. It's just a waste of time, okay? Number four, keep it real with your goals, okay? That's a big mistake that I see a lot of people out there doing. So the first thing you need to do is, is make the goal achievable. But don't make a goal that's going to be just so easy to hit. You're not even going to have to try. You have to put effort in. So you want to make these goals Write down these goals so you can hit them with, you know, write when you want to do them and write, you know, how you're going to do them. you got to make a plan. The plan is key, but the goals that you hit will help you go on and you'll be excited and more motivated once you hit each individual goal. So it's really, really awesome. Which brings me to my fifth one, tracking your results. So before you start your exercise program, it's always good to get measurements of your body, your body weight, your body fat, if you possibly can. There's a lot of places around you possibly that might be doing this or possibly your gym can do this for you. That way you know where you start at and you know where you're at when you do the tracking. So whether you're tracking yourself every 30 days, 60 days, or 90 days, you guys will know how far you guys have came. Or maybe you have it and you need to kick it up a notch in the goals that you were writing down, okay? So results are what we're ultimately after. That's the end game. The end result, the long lasting results is what you're looking for. So you want to track them and see how long it's taking you to get those results. Maybe you could do some extra things to expedite those results, okay? And that's where you could possibly look at a professional helping you with training, a nutritionist, or maybe it's your hormones or something like that that's keeping you down. You might be doing everything right, doing all these steps, eating correctly, sleeping, training, doing everything you're supposed to and not hitting your result. You'll know this with tracking your results. And if you need help, you can contact somebody that will help you out. So I hope these tips help you guys. There's some major ones that I've incorporated myself and then I also give out for, you know, when somebody asks me, hey John, you know, like what do I do? How do I start the gym or how do I keep motivated? Like I don't I feel like I'm burning out. 
and I give them these five tips. And it usually reinvigorates their workouts. And when they're reinvigorated, they're more motivated. And when they change some of these different things, they might expedite the results and they might be doing something they weren't doing before and that helps them out down the road. So take these tips and tricks, utilize them, incorporate them, and I hope they get you the long lasting results that they've gotten me. So these are just five tips and tricks to help you guys stay more to your exercise. You guys stay tuned, we got more to come.